Arsenic in your juice. Amid a furor of claims, there is disturbing new evidence revealing levels of the chemical that could be putting your kids in danger. So how much is too much? Consumer Reports tested 88 samples of both apple juice and grape juice. And what they found could increase your kids' risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. 10% of the juices tested had arsenic levels higher than the federal standard for drinking water. 25% of them also had lead levels higher than the FDA standard for bottled water. Dr. Oz's own investigation sparked a fierce debate just a couple months ago. Some of the best known brands in America have arsenic in their apple juice. We were telling parents that they are poisoning their children and you have absolutely no evidence. Well, this morning, Dr. Besser retracted the previous statement, saying that the FDA provided faulty data. They, they said that there was an industry, industry standard. Turns out there is not. Mm -hmm. They said that the type of arsenic in apple juice was the safe kind. Turns out it is not. The juice industry responded to the latest findings, saying this juice is not water. To compare the trace levels of arsenic or lead in juice to the regulatory guidelines for drinking water is not appropriate. All the FDA is saying tonight is that they are collecting additional data. Dr. Oz joins us live right now to talk about the new findings. It's always great to see you, Dr. Oz, and you have been saying this all along. What do you have to say today? Well, I'm not surprised by the new data, and we, we're not the first to talk about arsenic and apple juice. Smaller groups had done it before. Maybe we said it a little louder than everybody had. But I want to emphasize something just to add to what you commented on with Consumer Reports. Last Wednesday, as everyone was going off to Thanksgiving, the FDA released data they have been gathering for several years that revealed levels of arsenic and apple juice that were even higher than that revealed in the Consumer Reports study. So I think all of us now agree that we have an issue with arsenic in our food supply, with apple juice being the tip of the iceberg. And the real challenge for the FDA, and we all got to push on this, is to make sure that we revisit the amount we will tolerate, because we should not be giving arsenic to our kids in their formative years, because the long-term risks, which have never been used before to calculate safety numbers, include cancer, that you mentioned, but also developmental delays, diabetes, a whole slew of things. You don't want to give that to our kids. You know, on Good Morning America, Dr. Busser, he was really upset with the FDA. You heard that there, right? Not only did he, did he say what we played for the audience here, but he said that they withheld eight test results that showed somewhat high levels of arsenic in juice samples when they released the data after you did your show. What's your thought on that in withholding that data? Well, it was very upsetting to me. I, I actually uh, just taped a bit with uh, Dr. Besser uh, and Diane Sawyer for the evening news tonight. Uh, and this has been something that, uh, you know, has shocked all of us. I, I would have at least hoped that we would have had access to that information uh, in the days after our, our story appeared. But, you know, I, I think part of the it challenge here the is that the FDA really didn't look at long-term risks of arsenic. They didn't think it was a problem. And as they look at those risks, and they have been advised about this now because they've had discussions with them, uh, you, know, they, you know, very intimate ones and very important ones. They know they've got an issue now, that they, and they're going to revisit this, and I do believe change it. Well, Dr. Oz, should the FDA be setting limits on arsenic and fruit juice? And in the meantime, what should parents do? Well, the FDA, without question, has to limit the amount of arsenic in apple juice and the Juice Products Association, and they're going to join me on my show tomorrow. They wouldn't come on originally, but they're going to join me tomorrow. Uh, is going to comment on this. They will follow easily whatever regulations the FDA puts in front of them. But for parents, in the meantime, here's what I would do. Infants should never get apple juice. That's independent of arsenic. If you're younger than six years of age, a child can get at one of those small four-ounce boxes. Uh, you know, water it down a little bit, because uh, that way you cut to whatever is in there, including the sugar. But in addition, use some alternatives to apple juice. Or, for example, Example, orange juice does not appear to have arsenic in it. Maybe you can cut them half and half. If a child is older than six years of age, eight to 12 ounces, you, which is two of those small boxes, you know, that's about as much as you can give your child till the FDA uh, fixes this limit. You know, the big thing you got heat for was not comparing organic or not looking at organic versus inorganic. And these findings find the inorganic, which is the more dangerous kind. So even more reason to worry. Well, it was one of the most upsetting e events uh, around the original taping. You know, I, I, it was evident to anyone who looked at the data carefully that most of the ar arsenic in apple juice is inorganic. It had been looked at before. In addition, inorganic ar arsenic is de definitely dangerous, but organic arsenic is too. So it's just wrong to say that organic arsenic is, is uniformly safe. The CDC, another arm of the government, had said that. And said that we didn't know that much about it. So I was confused when the FDA made those arguments. They have changed their positions on those. So again, I think we're getting past some of those issues. And my obligation to you, and I said it back then, I'll say it now, is to tell you what I tell my family. Uh, I, and I did that, and sometimes you take some heat for it, but that's okay. <laughs> Dr. Oz, not that you're a person to pat yourself on the back, but do you feel vindicated? 
You know, it's not an issue of vindication because it really was never about me. Uh, I, I really felt and I still feel now that I'm speaking about something that others be, have, who have come before me have been talking about. I, I'm blessed with the ability to, through you, for example, to talk to a lot of people who trust you and are listening to our words right now. But none of this matters a hill of beans if we don't get the FDA to change the amount of arsenic that we tolerate in apple juice and lower it as much as possible. So I'm strongly behind the Consumer Report study today, which argues that we ought to really cut those numbers down to bare bones. Well, yeah, because we need to protect our kids. That's the number one priority. So, Dr. Oz, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Dr. Oz. Thank you very much. We'll see Take you soon. Take care.